this is almost cooked mutton about 800 750 grams approximately now the best way to do this is to take the raw meat wash it marinate it for half an hour and then cook it but my mom won't have it that way because she thinks there's a lot of fat in this lamb that um, in this Australian lamb that we sourced recently so she wants to boil it take off all the fats and and have a healthier option to eat so here goes the marination just more than half a tablespoon of ginger more than half a tablespoon of garlic some red chili powder some coriander powder some oil of course a little bit of salt salt all right here i have about 600 ml by volume of dal to which i'm going to add 1.2 liters of water so that's about one liter okay now the ratio of the dals is one is to one is to two um one one unit of masoor dal one unit of uh, chana dal and two units of tur dal all right uh this dish would obviously be awesome if you are just going to use masoor dal um but Today I ran out of masoor dal and therefore this is the combination that I came up with. To this I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric, some salt, a little bit of oil and it's time to pressure cook this. All right? I'm just going to give it a gentle stir. This dal has been soaked very well for a couple of hours, 30 minutes should do. And today we're cooking dal harusht. So now, time to get it on high pressure and a couple of whistles. And here's a sl not exactly an entire slab, one fourth of a slab of butter, standard butter. While we wait for it to melt, I'm going to send in some of the dry spices, low flame. Don't want them to burn. I have pepper, cloves, cinnamon, and some cardamom. So while the aromatics are getting released, I will be adding in the, the onions. And we will just wait for the onions to change color, not to become dark. Couple of bay leaves. Oh, that was my dal that was being pressure cooked. That's the first whistle. I think I will shut it off at the second whistle because I've really soaked it well. It's time to send in the onions. Okay, that was the dal. It's done. Lovely aroma this time. Just gonna add a teeny weeny bit of salt to speed up the cooking of onions. So it's time to send in the tomatoes. We cook them to the point that they blend in well with the onions. Should you find the pan getting a little not too comfortable, feel free to add a couple of tablespoons of water. A wee bit of water to slow it down. At this stage I would like to add some red chili powder, some coriander powder and then just cook this until they blend in well, the onions and the tomatoes with each other. Time for me to add in the chilies now. I could have put them in earlier but I just prefer to add them towards the end so there's still a little bit of heat in the dal. I mean the spice heat or the chili heat. Look at the beautiful dal here that's ready. Look at that mesmerizing color. To this I will be adding the pre-cooked meat. Look at the gorgeous meat that's been marinated for a couple of hours gonna send that in it's already cooked so it's not gonna take much longer to blend in with this delicious dish and now all we have to do is the tadka and this lovely dish will be ready look at the pieces of lamb Australian lamb yummy turn on the flame for the tadka 
some butter. Time to send in the onions. Some uh, cumin seeds. Some chili powder. Some dry red chilies. Some kasuri methi. Some mesa futida. It's time to add this seasoning. So here you go. This. And scoop that back. One more time. There you go. And dal gosht is ready.